put it into gear. I think anyone who sat in traffic on Harvey has thought, I would like a flying car. And it's not just a dream anymore. After seven years in the making, Ray Sebring and the Aviation Education Initiative have created the Maverick. Running on regular gasoline with a Subaru engine, integrated flight controls, and an airspeed of 40 miles per hour, it flies just like a car. We've built it with the end goal of creating access and providing access for markets and, and humanitarian aid purposes, medical missions. The Maverick is currently in Canada on a prototype license with Sebring behind the wheel conducting test flights. This vehicle, it flies quite simply under a parachute. The parachute is the wing. It's a powered parachute. That's the form of aircraft. It's all self-contained right now that we keep the wing and everything all right in the roof. Then we switch our propeller on, we switch our, our steering system on, and we're ready to fly. You just need an area the length of a soccer field to take off and land. Our flight control system is integrated with our driving control system. So once you take off, you turn the steering wheel left, you fly left. You turn the steering wheel right, you fly right. You hit the gas, you go up, you take your foot off the gas, you come down. It varies on country to country, but to operate a flying car in Canada, you need both your driver's and private pilot's license. All you need to do is look around and see our infrastructure is not designed for flying cars. So right now we're limited to, to public airports, uh, private airstrips, private roads or fields. The Maverick will be making its third ever flight right here in the Okanagan when it travels from Vernon to Kelowna as part of a special for the Discovery Channel. By our flight, we want to be able to tell a story of, of this is what the technology can do. If a bridge was out, we could still get over. Uh, if there was traffic, we could bypass the traffic. Uh, we want to have some fun also. Well, not quite ready for retail sale, the Maverick cost about $100 an hour to run and would set a customer back about $96,000 to buy. The passion behind this is not just the fun of flying, but we're doing it with a, a pretty unique purpose behind it. To find out more about the initiative, check out flyaei.com. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.